so here you can see the plan i'm shooting for one one four it's just so smooth it's like oh it's brilliant Right, we're just packing up a different order. So we've got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a bee. Big breakdown. It's the drill working there. So this day is just going to be in with another day. I'm not sure if it's yesterday or tomorrow. But anyway, sheep are not escaping. It's the morning again, no sheep escaped. So we're just at the hens just now, clearing up and getting ready to shift the sheds. So this is a feed auger. So that sits in that tube and it rotates and draws the feed out of the hopper into the hen shed where there's a track that takes the feed around. But we're just cleaning all this out and detaching it so we can slide it away. Five and six. One, three, six, seven. One, three, is that end one gone as well? Yeah. Six, and then two, five, six. So basically we've got a section here in the end, the joints there. This section's a scratching area, so it's just a big open area. And the hens kick about, do what they want. And then the rest of the shed is their laying boxes and it's raised up. And then this is obviously their outside area. So we'll need to pull this section back with the forklift. So I'll undo this strap here so the cover is taken over. Then we'll pull it back out the way with the forklift. Then Digger comes in and pulls the big section because the forklift has no chance. As you can tell, it is pretty much soaking wet. This is a wet patch, but it is soaking regardless. So here you can see the plan. Well, we'll do this over here. Lift up at this end, drag this section away and we'll get it out the road up somewhere there. Basically on skids along there. It's like skis for it basically. Should have built concrete pads for it to sit on. Kev just making sure everything's disconnected. I pulled it back half a metre or so. Just to make sure everything's disconnected, but I'm pretty sure it is. Before we make a mess of something. wet to actually drive with it so I'm just having to extend the boom and oh come on throw it back it's absolute gutters look at it just about there fraction more and we're out of the way because that the shed behind it you can see just through that gap it needs to slide out there into the field of wheat sadly right I've got parsnips to pick up um sell it across parsnips at Christmas time in the farm shop so I'm going to get a tatty box of parsnips or a parsnip box of parsnips right parsnips loaded up parsnips done back at the hens kids been at them for a wee bit kind of stripping out the boxes and whatnot there's mats to be changed where they where they lay the eggs right good morning just heading back to home I've just fed Percy and the pigs Different one today, not really going to be doing any farming. We do quite a lot of hampers in the shop this time of year and there's a few kind of bigger orders and they're obviously struggling to make them up in time. So I'm getting drafted in to do that and make up some hampers and whatnot. So I don't know how long that'll take me, whether I'll be there most of the day helping with that or not, but there'll be not much farming today, so. Right, these parsnips I picked up yesterday, they can come off this trailer. A funny one, actually. I had an English friend at uni. Um, who didn't know what neeps were, he thought they were parsnips. Parsnips. Right, this side they're all wiring in now. The ones on that side, I'm just taking their feeding around to them. And they're needing a bale as well, so. So these are the ones that are getting fattened up, and the one that's got a sail leg. Um, this pen, this kind of smaller pen here, this is what I'll use kind of for the ones that are calving or about to calve. Bring them into here, the bedding will all be very fresh all the time, just so that anything that's calved, any calves that are born come onto clean bedding, they're nice and dry and warm, so that's why we've got that segregated bit as well. Quite nice, just being able to get rid of the salads wrap immediately, and then it doesn't just 
sit around the yard for half the year. This tire's got a puncture, but it's also bold. Same with the rest of the wheels off the car it came off of, so it's going in to get changed. Right, I've just stopped, dropped off at the tire place, but my taxi's not arrived to pick me up. Long walk. Right, these are bags that the campers get made up into. Just grabbing a box of them. Kev's got a trailer on there, he's obviously putting the Pumping the tyre up again, it's a bit soft, we need to get that looked at. A slow puncture somewhere. These are the bags. Right, we're just packing up a different order. So the first order was, was there. So that was, how is that, 23? And there's another wee order there that's going out tomorrow. And just pack up the next one. So in the bottom of these, there's a sizzle pack. It's like cardboard, but it's kind of strips and scrunched up. And you put all the products on top of that. But the painter's just about to come in to do the skirting boards. Bad timing. It's a bit of a jigsaw, there's basically just, well, there's nine items here and two more to go and then figure out one of them, how they fit in well and don't get squashed and bashed and whatnot. There's two more things to go in here. And then once I figure that out, make all the rest the same. Done. Right, I've got them caught up with those hampers, so my services are no longer required. There we go, some fresh rubber on there. A bit more legal now. Just on the way back, I was passing where uh, the John Deere dealership is, which is in there. You can see the tractors and whatnot kicking about because I'd never been in here before and I just want to see where it was for a start. If we got a green machine, one of those. Okay, it's been cutting barley for a few hours now. There's not loads to come. I'll go and see how much he's shifted to the shed and I've got the bucket on here now, so push some of it up. Right, it's four loads shifted uh, so far into here, so that'll be about 60 ton. So there'll be another 55 ish to come. Another four again, so I'll push them up because it's getting a bit close. Do miss the big bucket. Not able to get the full height because tyres are a bit wet because they're outside so I don't want to run into the pile because you just end up trailing barley all over the place and it sticks to the wheels. For all that's coming along I'll just take my time a wee bit and not run into the pile. Right that'll give Kev enough space to get the rest load. Well at least three tipped in that gap and then might need to push them up for the last one. My favourite bit about this shed is the floor. I've not brushed any of that and it's pretty much spotless. It's just so smooth, it's like, oh, it's brilliant. And that's with the old rubbish bucket. Put on the good bucket and it's, oh, it's brilliant. Right, I'll just leave it there. Kev can get the others shifted. Kev's just pulled in just now, so he's got another load. So that'll be 75 ton. Yeah, he's getting about, oh, that one's 15.5, he said. So he's getting between 15 and 15.5 in a load. The height of the roof in this is just brilliant for tipping. You don't even need to think. You just tweak it up and it doesn't come close to the roof. Anyway, I've just taken the wee bit off the front of my screen, the glass protector. The quality looks a bit better. That's a lot better, a lot clearer. It was quite scratched, the screen. I'll get another cover. Anyway, I need to go back. There's more hampers to do, apparently. These pallets, that pallet and that pallet are all one order. 
but they're slightly different makeups of hampers. That's a different order completely. And then there's some on the shelf ones getting made up just now. They'll just end up on the shelves in the shop. So the hen shed's getting shifted tomorrow. Um, so all the hen pen underneath it will be shifting along to yard number two where the dung midden is. And to do that, we use the two old trailers and shift along the road. We don't want to use the new Stuart trailers, get them all manky. So one of them's here, the other one's along the yard too. So Kev's just in with our load. Get this trailer parked just out the way of that so we can get in with the further to push it up right here. And then Kev's going to pick up the other trailer along the road. Just pushing up the last of this, just about done. There's probably two more loads, two or three more loads to, to come in total. Yeah, there'll be. I'll go and I've got the weights, I'll go and count them in a minute. Right, we can shut up shop in here. Um, we'll not be back at the barley again tomorrow because we've got hen pen to shift tomorrow. It's cold, isn't it? We might clear a wee bit of the dung that the cows are on as well, just while we've got the trailers all dirty. There'll only be kind of five or six loads from the hens. So it may as well, while the trailers are all manky, keep going and shift other stuff. It's also a bit annoying with the shop. We don't really want to trail rubbish up by the shop and it's all stinking all day. So we can hammer a big chunk of everything out on the one day. It saves having other days where it's all a bit grim. Anyway. Right, I've totted up how much we've moved so far. So it's 90.68 ton, and we're shooting for 114. I'm not left handed. This is one of the things I really like about YouTube. Because I'm kind of documenting my day, when I forget things, or I lose paperwork, or this ultimately gets rubbed off when I'm using the table and I forget it's here, I'll still have it on video form. I go back all the time to find things I've lost or have forgotten. Really handy. I'm at yard number two. I was just in the shed, but it's really dark and the lights are useless. And um, seeing how much malting barley is here, because we've got 25 ton more to go along back to home, and then the rest we've got to sell. So I've just seen roughly how much. There's probably about one and a half, maybe two loads sitting there. I was also checking that there weren't any sheep on the list too, which there's not been, and that's been two or three days now. So touch wood, sounds good. So the botch job has seemed to work. Right, thank you very much for watching. I just came in here to check that the fan, the heater was turned off. Because the painter did a wee bit of filling, you can see the darkness around there, it's still damp. Um, I'll turn it on first thing, so hopefully it's dry tomorrow so we can paint over the top of it. Anyway, cheers.